This game is called Cat and Mouse for kindergarten to grade 5. You'll need bean bags and cones. And thanks to Derek Hafer for another great idea. So in this game, you're going to use some lines in the gym. Or you can place down some cones. And you're going to place down about 50 bean bags. Color doesn't matter. Somewhere in the, in the middle of those cones. And there are going to be two cats. They will be the taggers. And they're going to have to stay in that middle zone. And the rest of the players are the mice lined up along one side. And their goal is to try and make it across at each round to try and make it to the other side. But they also have to pick up a piece of cheese, that's the bean bag, before uh, they get across. So if they get to the other side without a bean bag, they uh, are eliminated. Well, not eliminated, they become a cat. And so we see a quick example. They've run across. One player was caught by the cat, and that has to be inside the middle area. The cats cannot leave the middle area. And the player was tagged, so they become a cat. So now there are three cats in the middle. And each player on the right side all has a bean bag, so they, they all uh, have their first piece of cheese. So round one, one piece of cheese. Round two, they're going to have to collect another one, to, so that when they get to the other side, they have two. So we'll see a quick example here. The players did make it across with two, except for two of the players who were caught. And so the players who were caught will become cats, but they also have to get rid of the piece of cheese they had and put it back on the ground and continue on. And so the rounds go on and on like that. So round three, they would have to have three pieces of cheese on the other side once they've made it across, and uh, so on and so forth. So that's the general idea. Just note some things here. Cats can't step on the bean bags. They have to be accessible to grab. So no, none of that. Uh, once the cat area is full, so if there are a lot of taggers, students are going to hesitate to go in. Uh, so in that case, count down from 10 or from 5, whatever you want, uh, to get those players moving. And the whole puppy guarding thing, if, if players are complaining about puppy guarding, just remind the mice that the cats are actually trying to guard their cheese. So there are pieces there, but they are going to be trying to guard them. And that's it for this idea. Thanks again, Derek Hafer. And please subscribe for more games and visit physetgames.com.